Okay, so we're given a question with an awful lot of information, and I'm just going to make something really clear at this point. The best way of doing this type of question is by drawing a two-way table. And I've seen a few people manage to work their way through the logic without a two-way table, but most students that I mark um, the assessments and you know uh, test papers for um, who try and do this without a two-way table end up getting it wrong. So it doesn't take long to do a quick two-way table. And so what we're going to have in our two-way table, we're going to have male, female, and total. We're going to have maths, English, and science, and then a total at the end. So we're going to have male, female, and total. Maths, English, science, and total. Okay, so let's try and fill in our two-way table. So we've got 115 students in total. Uh, 43, and I'm just going to tick these off as I do them, 43 of the students are male, so all of the males added together are 43. 30 of the 52 students who went to science were female, so there's 52 students in total who go to science, and 30 of them are female. 37 of the students went to English, so in total 37 went to English, and 17 females went to maths. So 17 females went to maths. And you might not have yours, maths, English, science. You might have English, maths, science. It doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. So we've got to figure out which one we're trying to find. It asks for the males who went to English. So males who went to English. So we're trying to find this box here. Now you can complete the entire um, two-way table, but we don't need to. We just need to find out what that number is. So uh, the first thing I'm going to look at, I think is finding the fact that these two here add together to make 52. So this top one to get it equal to 52 must be 12. Um, I can work out the fact that, uh, is there an easier way than that? I'm always trying to find quicker and easier ways. But I'm not quite sure there is one. So I might try and figure out the fact that these three here add together to make the total at the end there. Well, we need to work out what that total is. So what I need to do is uh, 115 take away 43 because these two here will add together to make 115. Uh, so that's going to be 72. And so I need to do 72 take away 30 take away 17, uh, which is 25. And then to finish off, I know these two here will add together to make 37. So I just need to do 37 take away 25, which is 12. Now I could carry on and, and complete the uh, two-way table, but there is no need because I've already found the answer. If I had some time later on in the test paper, I might try and complete the two-way table to check that that 12 works out. 